Okay, week three of Washington Youth Soccer's age-appropriate training curriculum for the U8 player and the U8 coach. We're now moving on to passing, Darren, and we're going to start with our warm-up. And obviously the objective is general coordination and getting the players ready for the activities they're about to do. Uh, exactly right. And uh, you'll see as we start to progress with the coach in this training session, uh, we'll utilize um, change of direction, thinking ahead, turning and change of speed um, and as we progress we'll add the ball control piece but again it's a warm-up to get them excited for the training session so there should be smiles on their faces and should get blood pumping through their bodies absolutely and it's a 20 by 20 yard area clearly marked with discs and it's a safe environment make sure you check the area you're about to use especially uh, the coaches that are using uh, public <laughs> fields. No, exactly right. And as you can see, the coach has already engaged these children and they're excited. She has them doing a couple of goofy little exercises to get them smiling and then get them moving um, in a little Simon Says game. And Simon Says is always a classic. It's a quality, classical session used all over the world. And obviously, Simon Says, if Simon Says clap your hands and do a star jump, that's what the players will do. So there's not just, uh, there's listening skills now, there's uh, movement skills, and obviously they're having a lot of fun. No, oh, exactly right. And you can incorporate just about any different movement that we do uh, that's safe for the, uh, for the ability level. Uh, and as a coach, you'll need to distinguish that and make sure that it's appropriate for the warm up. And looking at the key coaching points, change of direction, think ahead, know where you're gonna go, know where the space is, turning and changing speed and then we can add a ball into this session and that would include ball control and then obviously fun again is is the major ingredient to this cake and most importantly it's all about the ability level of the players if your players have been playing for a while you could even start with the ball but again you want to engage the players get them excited get them smiling get them going um, so that they're ready for the training session you're about to put on absolutely quality